So today, the reason we are here, because I want to share with you guys some great stuff. And as you know, last week we had, I can't believe it's about a, a week already. Amazing how it flies. Last week, we had our first event in person ever. And it was amazing. A lot of you guys were there. Thank you very much. I love you. Some of you guys flew from Oklahoma and Denver and Seattle and Northern California. I love that. And there was a lot of strategies, tactics, a lot of great stuff. And some of you guys couldn't make it. So I want to make sure I share with you guys some of the takeaways. Sounds good? So do me a favor, put it here in the chat, your name and where you join us from, because I want to make sure you meet all the people. I want to see where you're coming from. And uh, I can say hello to you as well. Good to see you, Marta, Luisita, your Kiko. So the event, the event was awesome. A lot of transformation. We cover a lot of things. So my darlings, there was five hours. So here, I only want to take 20 to 25 minutes of your time. So I'm going to get it started, okay? Because I want to give you some gold. Are you with, with me? Good. So put your phone away. Stay here with me present. There was a lot of takeaways, a lot of great strategies, transformation, breakthroughs, ahas, epiphany. I want to share with you three things. Number one, start taking notes. <laughs> Number one, we went over lead generation. And one thing that we cover about lead generation that I want to really have you ingrained, really in your system, is the importance of having a proven, systematized database system in place. So how many of you right now have a real clear system for your database in place right now? Can I see here? Yes, 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 shake your hand, give me some love, give me some heart. This is live, baby, this is live, participate. So if you have a proven, systematized, efficient, effective database, let me know. Now, are you working on it? Do you do it consistently every month, every, right? every quarter, every month, every week, every day? This is very important. Why is it so important, Coach V? Because if you don't have a clear, on-purpose, inter intentional approach for your database, you are going to miss on repeated referrals. The golden rule is, the golden rule of the database is, if you work your database, good. I said good, not even great, good. You should be receiving return on investment 10%, 10%. So, Hello, Jesse. Hello, Sanita. Ladies and gentlemen, Todd is in the house. Listen, if you have 500 people in your database, what is 10% of your database? 50. 50. So if you are only selling 20 homes per year from your database and you have 500 in your database, 500 people, that means you're only doing 5%. Not bad, right? You're doing 20, 25 people. You're doing, you're selling 20, 25 homes. But don't you want to have minimal return on investment? 10% would be great, right? So if you have 300, 30% from your database. So again, now if you're not on purpose, intentional, and you have a scientific, but easy, easy approach, you're missing out. Okay, I want you to have that. And that's what I teach. I give you guys my proven system approach. Sanita, I'm telling you, I made millions with my database. By the time I was three years in the business, four years in the business, 75% of my business came from my database and my farm. Would you like that? Would you like that? That's important because you don't have to go so much suffering, grinding, grinding. I want you to have 75% come to you, 25% you can buy some other leads. Okay, so do we have an agreement that we're going to make sure we systematize your lead source. No winging, no guessing. Make sense, Yukiko? So go check. That's what I teach you, don't just give it to you. Why you want it? Repeat referral. They love you already. They already warm with you. They already know you. Some of them love you, right? So of course we want to have other lead sources, but your database is key, is the number one. 
as you're doing right now, you're planning. I hope it's, I hope you're really pro- putting that together. So I want you to have this. I told the story that I was in my house in Lake Tahoe. I would fly, I would drive to Lake Tahoe Friday night, Lucita. I arrive in Lake Tahoe two and a half hours from my vacation home. And uh, because I had a systematic approach for my database, step one, two, three, four, five, and it happened every month, every week, every day, I had this beautiful repeat and referrals. So Saturday morning, the kids are sleeping. You know, sometimes there's snow falling down in Tahoe. I could hear the water. I had this beautiful stream coming down behind my house. By the way, would you like to have a dream home? Or me, I should say a vacation home? That's a beautiful goal for you, right? For 2022 or the next three years, you can have that. When you systematize your business, <laughs> when you improve your skills, I'm telling you, you can have it. I came here as poor as, poor as could be to this country. If I can have a vacation home, you can have it too. So anyways, Saturday morning, I would go listen to my voicemail, AC. And I would have the, I all love those, those voicemail. And the voicemail would go like this. Hey, Vanda, this is Mary here. My uncle Joe is moving. He's moving to Reno. We told him that you're going to call him because no one but you. We love you and we want to help him. Here's his number. Would you like to have two or three phone calls like this or voicemail like this per week? Can I have yes, amen on a Friday? Amen. Darlings, Emily, this is called come list me call. Come list me call. They are delicious. (laughs) <laughs> they are fantastic, right, Marta? So build that database. Put your systems in place. No wing in it. No wing in it. So that's what we do. So we can create the residual income. we we'll create that important thing, okay? Now, next takeaway. By the way, did you like that? See, proven system on purpose, intentional, it happens. You use my five-step system that made me millions. I'm giving it to you. I gave it to you. Use it. And if you don't have it, that's what we do, Nadia. All of you guys have have here some people that are not part of our VIP, not part of our programs. I'm telling you, it works like magic, right? Magic. Next takeaway. Well, first of all, let me say, we work on mindset. We talk about mindset. We talk about limiting beliefs. Do you guys know what a limiting belief is? Something that limits you, right? It's a, it's a block. It's a paradigm. A limiting belief is something that you repeat to yourself for so long that you believe for so long, and now you think is the truth. It, become, it became your reality. Am I making sense? Are you guys with me? I love that. Look at this. We have people from Daly City, from Gilroy, from Roseville, everywhere. So... A limited belief can really destroy your business. And there are many, there are many, 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 right? I'm too young, I'm too old, or I'm uh, in, in limitations too, right? Or I, I'm not a numbers person, yeah. or I don't call. <laughs> in this case, in this case here, the one I chose to cover today is the limited belief that I don't want to call my clients because I'm going to bother them. Let me ask you here, how many of you have this belief in your head? Nicolette, Nadia, Gabriella, Joy, good to see you. Do you have this kind of thoughts, this belief that, oh, if I call my database, I'm going to bother them? Right? I see Brian goes like this, right? <laughs> He's like, yeah, I think like this sometimes. So, Brian, I understand, I got you. So let me give you the medication. <laughs> Are you ready for the medication? <laughs> the medication is we have to destroy this belief and create another one. We have to destroy this because the reality is, let me ask you, Brian, is it really true that if you call your database with some great news, some insights, maybe some information that they are wondering about, about the market, about anything, do you think you really bother them? Do you really believe that? I don't think so, right? I don't think so. So I know it's a rhetoric question here because we are in the training and here, but Brian, just remember that. Write this down. 
My people need me. My people need me. That's your new affirmation. They need me. They want to know what's going on. They are they want to know what's going on in the market. They want to be knowledgeable. They love insights. They want to know the trends. Plus, if you don't show up and call them, guess what's happening? You know what's happening, Freddie? Your competition is calling them. The emails are bombarded. I mean, the email box are bombarded with someone, someone else. They are online checking everything and they are being bombarded by other real estate agents. If you don't talk to them, if you don't call them, text them and show up in presence in their lives and call them four times a year to give them value information, they're gonna do business with somebody else because someone else is showing up for them. So the, the reframe, write this down, reframe, right? So first of all, the belief that you have, if I call them, I'm gonna bother them, write that down and I want you to rip it apart rip apart and flush it because it's bull, BS. <laughs> flush it. They need you. They want to know what's going on. They want your energy. Right, Marta? Oh my gosh. Top of the mind. So if you want to be the one that they're going to love, care, refer, give business, you got to show them value, information. And you can't do this if you don't call them. I had a client once. She came to me for coaching and a wonderful client. And we start talking. I say, do you do business with your database? Oh, yeah, I do about 20 transactions for my database. I said, great. How many people have in your database? She said, 800. I said, darling, 20 is great. Now, but just thinking, what is 10% of 800? 80. So if you're doing 20, you have the upside is you've got a lot to grow. That's awesome. But it means you're probably not doing the best way because you're you don't probably don't have a system in place. Otherwise, you could be doing a, maybe even 35 or 40 already from your database, right? But here's the fun, the fun thing. I said, here's my database system. Are you calling them? You know what she said? Yeah, well, I'll call them. I call them twice a year. I said, okay, so 365 days. They hear from you twice a year. Do you think you really top of the mind they're going to remember? And he said, Coach, you're so right. She said, actually, last week I almost cried. I said, I said, what happened? I almost cried. No, she said, I was about crying. I said, what happened? She said, I called one of my clients and she just bought a home a month ago. A month ago, I said, okay, when was the last time you called her? She said, oh, I think seven months ago. So darlings, your database is not your, it's not yours. They're calling, talking to everybody. So please, Make sure that you are calling them. They need you. Do you not bother them? Now, you bother them if you call them for no reason. Or if you just, you know, you just go on and on forever. Call them specifically. Here's when you call as a friend, right? So remember, database, your past clients, few of influence, your vendors. Uh, sometimes you call as a friend, but sometimes you, you have a call as a businesswoman. Ring, ring. Hey, is it Sanita? Hey, Sanita, this is your friend, Vanda Martin here. Quick business call, darling. Quick business call. You have a minute? Yes. Oh, you want to talk business? Yeah, let's talk business. Bam, you change your hat. One time you're the friend or the cousin or the niece or the aunt. One time you are the business person. Does people like business? They love business. People love real estate. They love real estate. So the frame is you have to call to provide value information. Okay? And number three, now let's go to takeaway number three. Promise me you're going to call everybody. Promise you're going to destroy the, the belief that you bother them. No, you're not bother them. They love to hear from you. Okay. Number three is close for the appointment. Close for the appointment. In the event, we talk about presence. We talk about branding, Doug. How important for you to present, to show up. So let me say this to you. Everything you do in business, your number one goal is to set an appointment. Why? Because appointment is the game changer. Right, right, Vilma? Darlings, if you don't have appointments, you can't do what you do best. You know what I'm talking about, Samuel? Stephen, I love seeing all the great people here that I, that I don't know yet. Listen to me. When you go on appointment, that's when you do your magic. 
An appointment is an opportunity to present. An appointment is an opportunity for you to show your expertise, your knowledge, to stack the gold, stack the gold, show your value so you can ask them for the business. Ask and you shall receive. People expect you to ask. I had a client one time, I went to a listening appointment, and then after my listening appointment, Emily, when I said, great, seems like we agree with the price, we, you know I'm gonna take care of you, you know my marketing machine is the best, we agree with everything, awesome, I'm ready to get started. All we need to do now is sign the contract, let's get it done, and she said, that's how we do it. You ask for the business. So you ask for the appointment. People are interested in something. I said, oh my gosh, Shadita, I'm so glad you brought that up. That's a great reason to get together. Why don't we do this? I have some time open tomorrow at three or it's three o'clock better for you. You see, do you know the several ways of closing for appointment? Do you know? Because you've got to close for the appointment. This is what I teach for you guys on VIP. I'm so glad you guys are here with me learning this. That is the if closing. That is the alternate closing. That is the takeaway closing. So many ways of closing. Now I tell you what, if you don't close for the appointment or the next step, you're not gonna have it. It's like you did the surgery and you forgot to stitch the patient. You leave them bleeding, <laughs> right? Don't do that. You go on a date, you like the dude, you like to do that, close for the next meeting right? Or you don't even kiss. <laughs> so you got to close. Closing is part of the process. Closing is a part of the presentation. Am I making sense? So Dallas, this is called skills, strategies, tactics. That's what you're learning with me on VIP. That's what I teach granular every week, three times a week with you guys. By the way, do you like this? If you like this, oh my God, you're gonna love VIP. A lot of you guys are here with me on VIP, but some of you guys are not. So let me say, say this to you. If you're now working on your skills, your strategies, your tactics, you're going to become sooner or later average. And in this market, you can be an average. There are 3 million real estate agents in America, just in America. Some of you guys are with me from Canada and other countries. So please, Decide right now, I'm gonna be the best in skills, I'm gonna put my systems in place, and I'm gonna work on my mindset because I don't wanna be average, good, or great. I wanna be excellent, then outstanding, then a Jedi. Who wants to be a Jedi? Wonderful. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to put here a link. If you wanna know how to master certain appointments, how to get your database systems on target, recreating repeat and referral, come to me. I am looking for three or four Jedis who are hungry, ambitious to come and work with us on VIP. And I promise you, I'll give you so much. I'll make you so much money, your eyes are gonna roll. Your eyes are gonna roll and your life is gonna become easier. So if you're not VIP, it's just by invitation. Right here, apply for the conversation. You talk to me. And we see if we are a good fit. There's no pressure, no obligation. I just want to help. This is what I do. I love what I do. And I, I believe everybody should be making money in real estate. I believe if you, if each one of you should be winning every day. So this is what I do. I teach coaching. I teach granularly all this on our VIP programs. You, go, you know that, right? Right, Vilma? So do me a favor. Just know that. You, uh, you are as good as your skills. You are good as your team and your system. So make a decision right now. 2022 is going to be my best year ever. I will work on my skills, on my systems, my strategies, my tactics, and I will learn what to do. And then again, I'll say one more time because I love what I do. If you want to scale up your business, if you want to know what to do, how to do it, and what to do next so you don't have to wing it, just set up here a time with me. It's just a conversation. If it makes sense, we do business together. If not, you have a great conversation with great coaches. So thank you. Thank you. It's right here. Yeah, just click on the link. Schedule a time to talk to us. Now, recap. Because I know the time goes fast when you have fun, right? I said only 20 minutes. Oh, my gosh. We did this in five hours in San Diego. Wasn't it great? 
By the way, I love it. Thank you. Give me some love if you like that. By the way, we're going to have three times next year. I made a decision with my team, my company, my coach. We're going to have three live events next year in San Diego. So make sure you come to at least one. Okay? This is what I want you to do. Just remember, the recap, lead generation. You're going to have several lead sources for lead generation. The database is more important. Make sure you have a system, systematic approach, and use my step, five-step lead gen database system. Can we agree with that? Do my five step. I'm looking at you, Lucita. I'm looking at you. You do my five steps. Number two, destroy every limiting belief, especially. I'm, I'm going to bother them. No, no they are. They, you're not. Give them the gift of your energy. Give them the gift of your insights. Give them the gift of your knowledge. Call them like you really care because I know you do. Do you want them to go someplace else and have? And, no, you don't, right? Don't be the agent that do a disservice to your database because if you don't call them, they're going to go someplace else. And then close for the appointment. Always be closing, close for the appointment because that's how you show them that you care, that you want the business. And I want to finish with this. Don't be nervous about being salesy and ask for the appointment because selling is service. Selling is asking for the business so you can help them. Did you have a great conversation? Can we agree we're going to take action? Okay, systematize everything, work on here and work on here as well. So I love you to pieces. Thank you for coming here. It's a beautiful Friday. I'm on, on my VIP uh, in Real Estate Unleashed. I'm going to see you next week, at least two times. So happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, Coach Yvonne. Thank you for showing up on this beautiful Friday. Go kick ass. Go sell a lot of homes. Go right now, call 10 people, send 10 taxes, and tell people, hey, I was thinking about you. Gosh, it's the holidays. How are you guys doing? Happy holidays. Let me know if you have any questions, if you want to chat to have coffee. Love you. Bye. That's all. Don't even talk business so much right now. It's the holiday, baby. So go make some phone calls. I love you guys, and I'll see you very soon. Thank you for coming. And click here on, on my link. It's set the time to talk to Coach Yvonne and me because I'm going to change your life, baby. I'm going to change your life. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, everyone.